Welcome everybody to my tutorial on Photoshop CS5. In this video I'm going to show you how to do, uh, remove this seashell from the image and you can apply this strategy or uh, technique um, with any project you're working on. But for this project I want to show you a few things um, that you can do in Photoshop to remove something from a picture. Um, right now I have the magnetic lasso tool selected and all I'm going to do is click once on the edge and all I'm doing is dragging my mouse along the edge and what Photoshop is doing is it's creating a path around the seashell for me so I'm going to do this really quickly and go around the edges and it's really a helpful tool because what it's doing is it's saving me the time from creating all the path and the curves around the seashell now this tool gets a thumbs up from me and I'm almost done and I'm done close the path and I can remove the seashell now this is where we have some we have some choices right now what I can do is I can use the uh, the new content um, aware fill and we can go to edit fill and it says content aware it's already selected content aware I have my my mode and my opacity for the fill and I click OK now notice what it, what Photoshop does. <laughs> Not perfect. And this is my problem with uh, with Photoshop or Adobe for that matter. When Content Aware skill, uh, Scale came out, uh, it was a little bit glitchy and it's not perfect for everything. In certain situations, it could work, and you know maybe with print you wouldn't want to do it. But with now with uh, Content Aware Fill, I feel it's the same kind of deal. So let me go back. I'm gonna um, deselect that. And let's use another way of uh, using content aware fill to see if we can uh, do something where we can um, get rid of the seashell. Uh, let's use a spot healing brush. And up here I have content aware fill, uh, content aware fill selected again. And I'm just going to go over the seashell. And the idea is, is that it's going to fill in the area where I'm going over with the, the healing brush. That's the idea. Kind of okay, not too bad. So I just showed you three ways to remove the seashell. We can do it one way, we can silhouette the item and cut it and then fill in the area. We can use the heel, um, right over here, the um, spot healing brush tool. We can use that. We can use content aware fill uh, just when we're silhouetting. So there's a few ways you can do this. What I would recommend doing, um, I do like the um, spot healing brush tool. What I would do is use that first. You see now it looks like, well honestly it looks like crap because the people would know that something was weird there. It looks like there's a hole in, the, in whatever this picture is, it looks like there's a hole there. So what I would do is use that um, spot healing brush tool and then go back and touch it up a little bit. So I'll take um, that color with the eyedropper, create myself a new layer, take a brush, take a soft brush, go up, and this is gonna become like the painting show. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go over the area. This image is you know, very easy to work with because we have a lot of color that's light and it's blend together and we can easily blend it. I'm gonna take the smudge tool, soft brush again, raise it up, Let's make it a big brush. Swipe it over a little bit. Let the computer catch up to me. Kick up the strength. Let's do it one more time. Cover that up. See more blue color down there. We can add it. New layer. Take the soft brush again. And you can hardly notice the seashell was there. So it's a very quick way of doing it. There's a few ways you can mess around with the photo and remove something. It all depends on how you want to do it. We could have used the clone stamp tool if we wanted to. Um, there's various tools you can use. I just thought it was funny that when I went ahead and used this um, magnetic uh, lasso tool, I thought it was uh, fantastic. Um, using content aware fill, I don't know. Um, it's okay. Um, but it's not going to be perfect, and I guess that's the idea of working with these tools with Photoshop. You do need to have some sort of skill set to understand that you can use the tools to the best of their ability, but you need to push it further and make the image what you want it. 
So that's about it. That was my special tutorial this week. I added a bonus tutorial. Today is, what's today? Today is Tuesday. I don't uh, usually do the tutorials this early in the week, but I thought I would give you guys one. And I'll see you guys later.